welcome to my channel. It's on the news a lot lately that various European countries threaten to follow the path of the UK and exit the European Union. Why does this happen and why did the EU gain such a bad reputation? The European Union was a result of the Treaty on European Union that was signed in 1992. In the EU, there are four important European institutions that are involved in the decision-making. Initially, the European citizens elect their representatives for the European Parliament and the government of their countries in two separate elections. Ministers from the government, the EU member states, then join the Council of the EU and the Prime Ministers form the European Council. The European Council, after electing their president, proposed is the members and president of the European Commission, which are voted on by the European Parliament. The European Commission is the only institution that can propose new legislation that both the European Parliament and the Council of the EU can vote up or down. And that's where all the problems stem from. The members of the European Commission are not directly elected by the European citizens and the laws it proposes prevail if they conflict with national laws. Basically, the European Union demands the surrender of national sovereignty to allow the participation of a small state in decision-making in a bigger supranational EU. In reality, though, the motives of the EU do not seem very noble when it continually limits or abolishes national veto powers, which reduces the influence of the individual states in decision-making. Therefore, the nations are no longer able to decide their own domestic affairs and cease to be independent. Their existence is put at the mercy of those who have taken its sovereignty into their hands. The European Union has repeatedly proven its tyrannical values over the European people by implementing destructive economical measures or by allowing the invasion of illegal immigrants in Europe to happen. The core problem is not the obvious lack of democracy, but rather the system's vulnerability to corruption combined with the globalization agenda. Even in a non-democratic system, citizens can consent or not and show their disaffection by choosing to protest against the actions of their leaders. And that's exactly what's happening in the EU regime. The more the EU dismisses the requests of the European people, the more unstable Europe becomes as a whole. Do you have any more ideas about why people are dissatisfied with the European Union? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to rate us.